which is the period of what we call in English and in Spanish, and in Latin, Pax Romana, La Paz mm -hmm. Romana, was during that period. So he established the basis for a strong empire and a very peaceful empire. Okay? And to ask me if I like reading Roman history. Do you like reading Roman history? I like history in general. Okay, ask me if I'm reading a book now about Julius Caesar. Are you reading a book now about Julius Caesar? No, I'm not. Ask me what kind of book I'm reading now. What kind of book are you reading now? I'm reading a novel. Ask me how many pages there are in the novel. How many pages are there in the novel? Ooh, over a thousand pages. Mm -hmm. Tell her to ask me how long it's going to take me to finish the book. Ask him how long uh, did Ask her, tell her to ask me how long it is going to take me to finish the book. Ask him <coughs> how long is it's. It, it's going to take him to read the book. How long is it going to take you to finish reading the book? Um, a este ritmo, ¿cómo se dice? At a this este, pace. At this pace, yes. Or at this rate, se dice mm -hmm. más, rate. At this rate, it'll take me a year, all right, <laughs> because I don't have time to read. Ask me if I read uh, anything, ask me if I read any pages from the book yesterday. Did you read any pages from the book yesterday? Yes, I did. Ask me how many pages I read. How many pages did you read? About four. <laughs> okay. Ask me why I couldn't read any more. Why couldn't you read any more? Because yesterday uh, I was distracted by some family questions, okay, so I couldn't read it, okay? And so ask me um, if I'm reading more than one book at the same time. Are you reading more than one book at the same, at the same time? Uh, not now. Okay. But tell Marie Jose if I, if I usually read more than one book at the same time. Ask him if he usually read more than one book. If he usually can? If he usually reads okay. more than one book at the same time. Suena fatal cuando no pones la S. I'm sorry. Okay. Do you usually, usually read more than one book at the same time? Uh, yes, I do. I usually do, but not right now. Okay, now, <clears throat> ask me if I would start a second book if I had time. Would you start a second book if you have time? If you? Had time. Yes, I would. Yes, I would start a book if I had time. Uh, ask me if I would change professions if I had the money. Would you change professions if you had money? The money? Yes. The money to do it? No, I wouldn't. Okay. Ask if I would ask for more water if this cup were empty. Would you ask for more water if, if that cup were empty? Empty? Empty. empty. Uh, yes, I would. I would ask for more water. <laughs> ask me if I would continue giving this class on TV if they stopped paying me. <laughs> would you continue giving this class if they stopped it? Stopped. If, if they stopped paying you. Paying you. If you stopped, if they, if they stopped paying you, uh, yes, I would. I would not continue. I work for money. Of course. Do you work for money or for free? No, I work for money. Are you a mercenary? I'm not. But you work for money. But I need money to survive. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, ask me if I would buy a new house if I won the Christmas lottery. Would you buy? A new house if you won the, the Christmas lottery? No, I wouldn't buy a new house. Well, it depends on how much. <laughs> I mean, if I won millions and millions, of course, yeah. yes, I would buy a new house. Ask me where I would buy it. Where did you? Where would, where you? would you buy it? I would buy it in this city. Ask me if I would buy a house or a flat. Would you buy a house or flat? Or a flat. Or a flat. I would buy a flat. Ask me where I would buy the flat. Where, where would you buy the flat? Next to one of the major parks. You know, there are two mm -hmm. big parks in Madrid, and I would buy a flat, a uh, penthouse, overlooking the park, okay? Mm -hmm. And ask me if I would decorate the house myself. Would you decorate the house yourself? No, I wouldn't. Ask me who would decorate it. Who, who would? Who would decorate it? Probably my wife would decorate it. Ask me if my wife has good taste for decoration. Does your wife have a good taste? Out of, uh, no. Okay. Does your wife have good taste for decoration? Yes, she does. Okay. Ask me if my wife has good taste in general. Does your wife have a good taste? Sin a. Uh. <laughs> Tiene buen gusto, no tiene un buen gusto. <laughs> yes. <laughs> does your wife have good taste for decoration? In general. For, uh, in general. Yes, she mm -hmm. does. Okay. Ask me if she speaks English well. Does she speak 
English well? Ah, uh, yes, she does. Yes. yes, she does. En caso de cultura palo, no se aplica aquí. Ah, uh, yes, she speaks quite well. Ask her if she spoke English well when I met her. Mm, did she speak English well when you met her? Not too well. Uh, not too well. Ask me if she had ever lived abroad when I met her. Uh, had she lived abroad? Have she lived abroad? No. Hmm? Yeah. Had yes. she lived abroad when you met her? Yes, she had. Ask me where she had gone. Where had she gone? She'd gone to Cork. Do you know where Cork is? Where's Cork? I don't know. You don't know? Tell Blanca to ask me where Cork is. Ask him where is Cork, where Cork is. Where is Cork? Cork. Cork. It's in Ireland. Uh -huh. Ask me if it's in Northern Ireland. Is it in Northern, Northern Ireland? No, it's not. It's the opposite. It's in the, it's in the south. south. And uh, ask me what is special about Cork. What about? What's special? What's special about Cork? Well, it's the second most important city in Ireland, mm -hmm. in the Republic of Ireland. Okay, it's the second most important city, Cork. Ask me what Cork is important for. What is Cork important for? Well, for many things, for fishing, for industry, for agriculture, for everything. Cork's very important. Ask you if it's easy to understand the people in Cork. Is it easy to understand the people in Cork? The first day, no. <laughs> <laughs> the second or third day, you begin to understand them. All right, and ask me how old my wife was when she went to Cork. How old was your wife when she went to Cork? She was 17. Mm -hmm. Ask me if I knew her at that time. Did you know her at that time? No, I didn't. Ask me what I was doing when she was in Cork. What, was, what? what were you doing when she was in Cork? I honestly think I was here. I was here in my first months in Madrid or in Spain, yeah or in Barcelona, I don't remember where I was, in the summer. But in August of that year, I was here. I was 20 at that time, okay? And uh, ask me how old I was when I met my wife. How old were you when you met your wife? I was 23, I think, when I met my wife. Ask me how old she was. How old was she when you met her? I think she was 21 uh, when I met her. She's two and a half years younger than I am. And uh, ask me if she spoke English well at that time. Did she speak English well at that time? No, she didn't. Ask me how long it took her to gain a good ability with the language. How long did it take her to gain a good ability with the English? With English. With English. The English, no, same thing. With the language. Yes. Uh, it didn't take her long. It took her only about uh, a year once mm -hmm. we were married because she needed to speak to my parents. Ask me if we got married in the States. Did you get married in the States? Yes, we did but we got married here first, all right? And then we got married later in the States. Ask me how many months later we got married. How many months, months Late. later uh, did, you, you? did you get married in the States? We got married about seven months later mm -hmm. because it was easier to get married again than to validate the wedding from here. Mm -hmm. It was bureaucratic problems. So we just decided to get married again, mm -hmm. all right? Ask me if we got married in the church, in a church in the States. Did you get married in a church in the States? No, we didn't. We got married in front of a justice of the peace, with the path. In Spain, yes, in a church, but in, st in the States, in front of a justice of the peace. Okay, it's time to say goodbye for the moment. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. And I'll be back in just a few minutes with one student, okay? So sit tight, stay still. <laughs> Don't go away for too long. I give you five minutes permission, and uh, we'll continue in just a few minutes. Thank you. The Bourne Challenge. Which one is correct? Quickly. Hurry up. The correct answer is... C. The office is near my house. The Bourne Challenge! What's the missing word? Do you know the right answer? Not much time left! 
The correct answer is... A. Will he ask her? The Born Challenge. Choose the right question. My brother lives in Chicago. Do you know the right answer? Chop, chop. The correct answer is... Where does your brother live? Hello again and welcome to the one minute English class. I'm trying to put this kettle in my shirt pocket. So, I have a problem. This kettle is too big for my pocket. Which means that my pocket is too small for the kettle. Which means that the kettle isn't small enough for my pocket. Which means that my pocket isn't big enough to accommodate the kettle. Four ways of saying the same thing. Let's repeat. The kettle is too big for my pocket. The kettle isn't small enough for my pocket. Enough money spoistos adjetivos adverbios. Ojo. My pocket is too small for the kettle or my pocket isn't big enough to accommodate the kettle. I'm trying I'm trying to touch the ceiling. It's too high for me to touch. It's not low enough. I'm not tall enough. I'm too short. Four ways. I'm too short to touch the ceiling. I'm not tall enough to touch the ceiling. The ceiling is too high for me to touch. The ceiling isn't low enough for me to touch. Do you get the idea? Practice it yourself. The Born Challenge. Which one is correct? You don't know, do you? <laughs> chop, chop. The correct answer is... B. I saw them last week. The Born Challenge. Which one is correct? You don't know, do you? <laughs> chop, chop. The correct answer is... C. I'm not rich enough to buy it. The Born Challenge. Which one is correct? Do you know the right answer? Chop, chop. The correct answer is... A. We've lived in London since 1980. The Born Challenge. Which one is correct? Quickly. You're running out of time. The correct answer is... A. She hasn't spoken to anyone yet. Hello and welcome. Welcome to a new edition of Vaughan in Vivo. My name is Richard Vaughan and I'm here again. Como todos los días, as every day, I'm here to help you with your English. So, uh, let's waste no time. Let's not waste any time. Let's waste no time and let's get started. 
manos a la obra. Let's get down to work. Let's get down to work and start working on, valga la redundancia, let's get down to work and start working on our English. And to help me, I have Maria Jose on my right. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. And Blanca on my left. You look well, nice today. Thank you. All right, so are you ready to start working, Maria Jose? Uh, I am. Are you ready to answer a lot of questions? Yes, sure. Because Blanca is a very inquisitive person. <laughs> All right. Okay. And she likes to ask questions. Es un poco cotilla, Blanca. She's a little nosy, <laughs> okay? Do you like nosy people? No, I don't. Do you? Do you like? Bring me the camera. Do you like nosy people? Nosy is que me la nariz en todo. Un poco cotilla. Are you a nosy person, Blanca? I'm not. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay, well, ask Marie Jose if she was born in Asturias. Were you born in Asturias? Yes. I was. I was. Ask her how old her mother was when she was born. How old was your mother when you were born? Born. Uh, born. 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 <laughs> I think she was 35 years old. Right. Ask mm -hmm. her if she has any brothers and sisters. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes. I have five. And with me, six brothers and sisters. Ask her if she's the only girl. Are you the only girl? No, I'm not. Girl? Girl. Girl. <laughs> You're not. Ask her how many other girls there are in her family. How many other girls are there in your family? There's one more. There's one more. Ask her what her name is. What's her name? Uh, her name is Argentina. Argentina. Yes. Don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> oh, <same>. <laughs> All right. Okay, to ask her if Argentina lives in Asturias. Does Argentina live in Asturias? Yes, it does. That's strange. Argentina live in Asturias. Okay. <laughs> Asturias no live in Argentina. Okay. Ask her, if she, ask her if Argentina lives in Oviedo. Does Argentina live in Oviedo? Oviedo. No, she Oviedo. doesn't. Ask her if she lives in Gijón. Does she live in Gijón? No, she doesn't. Avilés. Does she live in Avilés? No, she doesn't. Grado. Does she live in Grado? No, she doesn't. Uh, Rivasella. Does she live in Rivalsella? No, she doesn't. Tazones. Does she live in Tazones? No, she doesn't. Ask her where she lives in Asturias. Where does she live in Asturias? She lives near Navia. Near Navia? Mm -hmm. Ask her what the population of Navia is. What's the pop population in Navia is? Is has dicho is dos veces. Ah, excuse me. What's the population in Navias? Of Navia. What's the population of Navia? <laughs> oh, in Tonavia. <laughs> What's Excuse me, Maria Jose, what's the population of Navia? Excuse me, Maria Jose, what's the population of Navia? Maybe it's uh, 10,000 people. About 10,000 people. About. And ask her if her sister works. Does your sister work? No, she doesn't. Ah, ask her if she's a housewife. Is she a housewife? Yes, she is. Ask her if she has any children. Does she have any children? Yes, she does. Ask her how many children she has. How many children, children does she have? She has three children. Ask if they are grown. Are they are grown? Yes. <laughs> are they grown? Are they grown? Grown. 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 All right. <laughs> Gro I don't know how to say it. Is there a word in Spanish with gronete, grono, grono? Agronomo. Agronomo, grono. Yeah, ask her if they are grown. Are they grown? Grown. <laughs> grown. grown. Are they grown? Yes, they are. Ask her how old the oldest child is. How old is her, is. How old is her child? Ask her how old the oldest child is. How old is the oldest child? Child. Child. She is 30 years old. Ask her if she lives in Navia. No, Navia. Navia or Navia? Navia. Ask her if the oldest lives in Navia. Does the oldest live in Navia? Well, she's working out of Navia. Outside of Navia, mm -hmm. but she lives in Navia. Yes. All right, ask her if she lives with her parents. Does she live with her parents? Yes, she does. Ask her if her parents are divorced. Are her parents divorced? No, they're not. Ask her how long they have been married. How long have they been married? Uh, they have been married for 28 years. And the doctor's uh, 30. 31 years, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. That's okay. <laughs> no, no, 31. 30, 31 yes. years. Uh, uh, what's the name of your sister? I don't remember. Argentina. Argentina. Uh, ask her if Argentina is older than she is. Is Argentina older than you? Yes, she is. Ask her what her husband's name is. What's her husband's name? Uh, 
His name is Manolo. Manuel. Manolo. Manuel in Argentina. Ask her if they met in Asturias. Did they meet in Asturias? Yes, they did. All right. Ask her if she knew Manuel before they met. Did you know Manuel before they met? Uh, I don't remember now. Ask her if Manuel is from Cudillero. Is Manuel from Cudillero? No, he's not. Ask her where Manuel is from. Where is Manuel from? It's the same place as us. He is from the same place yes. as we are. Repeat. He's from, this, from the same place as we are. Good. Ask her if he's a truck driver. Is he a truck driver? A truck driver. Camionero. Uh, is he a truck, truck dri driver? No, he's not. Ask her if he's a farmer. Is he a farmer? No, he's not. Ask her if he's an electrician. Is he an, el an electrician? No, he's not. Ask her if he's a plumber. Is he a plumber? No, he's not. Ask her if he's a carpenter. Is he a carpenter? No, he's not. Ask her if he's a businessman. Is he a businessman? Yes, he is. Ask her if he's a shopkeeper. Is he a shopkeeper? No, he's not. So he's a businessman. Ask her if he's intelligent. Is he intelligent? Yes, he is. All right. Ask her if she gets along with him. Do you get along with them? With him. Ah, uh, with him? Yes, very much. Ask her if she gets along with Argentina. Do you get along with Argentina? Yes, always. Ask her when the last time was she saw her sister Argentina. When was the last time you saw your sister Argentina? It was yesterday. Really? Really. Ask her if Argentina is visiting the city. Is Argentina visiting the city? This city. This, this city. Uh, is Argentina visiting this city? No, she isn't. Ask her if she was in Asturias yesterday. Were you in Asturias yesterday? Yes, I was. Ah, ask her how many days she was there. How many days were you there? I was three. Uh, I, was there I was there for three days. Good. Ask her if she went there alone. Did you go there alone? Yes, I was. Repeat the question. Did you go there alone? Yes, I did. Ask her why. Ask her if she took. Why she didn't take her children with her? Why didn't you take your children with you? Because they were with his father. With his father or with yes. their father? With their father, I'm, I'm okay. sorry, their father. They were with, mm -hmm. they, repeat, they were? They were with their father. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, they were with their father. Okay, good. Ask her if she drove to Asturias. Did you drive to Asturias? Yes, I did. Ask her if she saw any accidents on the way. Did you see any accidents on the way? No, none. None. Ask her if she went over Pajares. Did you go over Pajares? Not over Pajares. I went uh, mm, over over the. Ask I mean, her. Ask the her if she went over Somiedo. Did you go over Somiedo? No, I didn't. Ask her if she went over the mountains. Did you go over the mountains? Well, mm, not over. I went under. Uh, under. Through. Through the highway. Actually, ask her if she used the tunnel. Did you use the tunnel? Yes, I did. Ask her how long the tunnel is. How long is the tunnel? Which one of them? The one you used. A lot. Ah, there were a lot of different yes. tunnels. Okay. <laughs> Ask her how many kilometers she spent in tunnels. How many kilometers did you spend in tunnel? Tunnels. In the tunnels. In tunnels. No, okay. In tunnels. Maybe 15 or 18 kilometers. Ask her if she considers the tunnels more dangerous than normal highways. Do you consider the tunnels more dangerous than normal highways? No, I don't. Okay, ask her how long it took her to drive to Asturias this last time. How long did it take you to drive to Asturias this time? Going... Yeah, going there. Going to drive there? to Asturias, not uh, to drive back. Five hours. It took five hours. Mm -hmm. To my ask, house. Good. Ask her how long it used to take before the tunnels. How long did it used to take before the tunnels? Maybe eight hours. Really? Really. Come on. Yes. No. Eight yes. hours? No. Mm -hmm. Now, from Madrid to Leon, three hours. Over Pajares, one hour. In yeah. which car? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <coughs> Ask her if she has a nice car. Do you have a nice car? For me, it's nice. All right, good. <laughs> okay, now ask her if she listened to music while she was driving. Were you listening? Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Ask her if she listened to music while she was driving. Did you listen to the music to while? Music. To music. Uh, did you listen to music while you were driving? Yes, I did. Ask her if she listened to classical music. Did you listen to classic music? Classical. Classical music. Not when I am driving. Ask her if she listened to Cantejondo. 
Did you listen to Cante Hondo? <laughs> no, I didn't. No? no? Ask her if she listened to Manolo Escobar. <laughs> Did you listen to Manolo Escobar? <laughs> No, I didn't. Ask her what kind of music she listened to while she was driving to Asturias last week. What kind of music did you listen to while you were driving, driving. driving to Asturias? I listened to pop music and black music. Pop music and soul music. Soul music. Musica del alma. Mm -hmm. All right. So, okay, good. And ask her if she finds driving boring. Do you find driving boring? No, I don't. Ask her if she's ever had an accident. Have you ever had an accident? Little accidents, but right. no big ones. Okay. Now, ask her what time she left Madrid to go to Asturias. What time did you leave Madrid to go to Asturias? At 11.30 in the afternoon. It's impossible. I mean, 11.30 in the afternoon doesn't exist. <laughs> 1.30 in the afternoon. Yeah. Yes. All right. It's como a las 10 del mediodía. Yes, <laughs> At 1.30 in... In the afternoon. 1.30 in, in, in midday. Okay, yes. good. And ask her if she stopped along the way to eat lunch. Did you stop along the way to eat lunch? No, I didn't. All right, ask her if she stopped along the way to put gas in the car. Did you stop along the, along the way uh, to, put, to put the gasoline? To put gasoline. To put gasoline? Donde? In the tank. Okay, or in the car. <laughs> in the car. Okay, escucha. Ask her if she stopped along the way to put gas in the car. Did you stop along the way to put gasoline in, in the, the car? <laughs> no, I didn't. All right, ask her if her tank was on empty when she arrived. Where you tank, where you... Tiene uh, un depósito. Okay, ask what's her, your... Escucha. She's perfect. Yes. She doesn't make any mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to, I'm not going to invite you to this program anymore. You make too, you're too perfect. <laughs> She's almost perfect too. I need to make some, um, I need to bring different types of people here who have more problems. Now, uh, <laughs> ask her if her tank was almost empty when she got to Asturias. Was your tank almost empty when you got Asturias? When you got to Asturias. When you got to Asturias. Yes, it was. Ask her if she filled the tank the same day or the following day. Did you fill the tank the same day or the following day? Tank, no, tank. Tank. All right. I did it the, I did it the following day. You, used, you filled it the following day. <laughs> yes. Ask if her mother was, ask if she saw her mother on the first day. Did you see your mother on the first day? Yes, of course. Ask if her mother was happy to see her. Was your mother happy to see you? Very happy. Ask if her mother is a difficult person. Is your mother a difficult person? Not at all. All right. Ask her if, his father, if her father is still alive. Is your father still alive? No, he isn't. All right. But ask her if her mother lives alone. Does your mother live alone? No, she doesn't. Ask her who she lives with. Who does she live with? She lives with my little brother. Your little brother. Ask her how old her little brother is. <laughs> how old is your little brother? Uh, he's 38. Ask her if her little brother is married. Is your little brother married? No, he isn't. Uh, ask her if he works in Navia. Does he work in Navia? Navia. Navia. Yes. yes, he does. Ask her if he owns a shop. Does he own a shop? He used to, but not now. Ask her what kind of shop he used to own. What kind of shop did yes. he used to own? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> What kind? What kind of shop? What shop. kind of shop did he used to own? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny about that, Blanca? Yeah, it's normal. What kind of shop did he used to own? A shoe shop. A shoe shop. Mm -hmm. Really? It would be. Okay, uh, and ask her if she ask her if he sold the shop. Did he sell the shop? He rented. Uh, he rented it. What mm -hmm. you call in Spanish un traspaso. Mm -hmm. All right, fine. And ask him, ask her if he made a lot of money in the transaction. <laughs> Did he make a lot of money in the transaction? Transaction. Mm -hmm. No, but I think commercial. Mm. Transaction. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. Ask her if he works now. Does he work now? Yeah, he, yes, he does. Ask her if he works for other people. Does he work for other people? For my other brother. Ah, ask her if her other brother owns a shop too. <laughs> Does your older brother own a shop too? Uh, uh, not a shop. 
Okay. Es una caña de tizas. Te amo, 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 te amo. All right. Okay, Esker, not exactly. He doesn't exactly own another shop. Not a shop. Now, Esker, Esker, her brother, her other brother owns a factory. Does your other brother own a factory? No, he doesn't. Esker, what he owns? What does he own? He owns a... Um, mm, I don't know what... Uh, I don't know what to call. What to call business for hosteleria. He owns a bar, uh, a restaurant. restaurant. Mm. Yeah. He owns a coffee shop, cafeteria. He yes, owns a, both. An establishment. Mm -hmm. An eating, mm -hmm. eating and drinking establishment. Yes. All That's right. It. Yeah. Uh, ask her if her brother is uh, filthy rich. <laughs> is your brother filthy rich? Forrado dinero. No. He's not. He isn't. Ask her if her brother is hurting. Is your brother hurting? Hurting means le duele, necesita dinero. No. no he's okay. <laughs> he's okay. No lo está pasando mal. No, no. Okay, he's not hurting financially. No. All right. He's not. Ask her if her brother is the cacique in the town. <laughs> is your brother the cacique in the town? One of them. <laughs> mm. Ask her if her brother has ever been involved in politics. Has your brother ever involved in Ever been. Has your brother ever been involved in politics? Not exactly. Ask her if he is tempted to get involved. Was he tempted? Uh, uh. Or is he tempted to involve? No, excuse me. Si está tentado a involucrarse ya. Si siente la tentación. Ask her if he is tempted to get involved. Is he tempted to get involved? Maybe he is. All right, ask her if she thinks he will become the mayor someday of Navia. Do you think he will become the mayor of Navia someday? I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. Ask her if she would be surprised if he became the mayor. Would you be surprised? Would you surprised if uh -uh. he became? Ask her if he she would be surprised if he be, if her brother became the mayor. Would you be surprised if he became became if he became a mayor? The mayor. The mayor. I would. You would? I would be. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Now, ask her if she gets along with that brother. Do you get along with that brother? Yes. You do? Yes, I do. Ask her if she gets along better with the little one. Do you get along better with the little one? Sure. <laughs> All right. Ask her if there's a big difference between the two. As a, is there? Is there any, is there a big difference between? Ask her if there's a big difference between the two. Is there a big difference? A big difference. Quiero a. Uh, Okay, don't get angry. <laughs> Pero es que no, es que siempre comes, siempre me comes los, los artículos. <laughs> ¿Y qué es que lo estás diciendo? Mira, tengo que oírlo. Si okay. no, no existe. All right. Now, <laughs> ask her if there is a big, a big, a big, a big, a big difference between the two brothers. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there a big difference? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is there a big difference between those two brothers? Yes, a big difference. Ask her if they get along. Do they get along? Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ask her what age difference there is between them. <laughs> what age? No, what's so funny, Blanca? <laughs> Uh, would you want me to ask you? <laughs> I don't understand what's the matter. This is an English class and we're practicing the grammar. I'm gaining agility and my, my guests can't stop laughing. I'm just not funny what we're talking about. Am I funny? Yes, you are. <laughs> is there something on my nose? No. <laughs> do I look okay? Yes, you do. All right, fine. All right, good now. Okay, ask me if there, ask her. Don't ask me. Ask her if there is a big age difference between them. Is there a big age difference between them? Maybe, I don't know now, 14 years. 14 years? Yes. Wow. Ask her how old her, the other brother is. How old the, other, the oldest brother is? No, how old is the old, older brother? He's 51. He's 51. Mm -hmm. That's a 13 year difference. 13, okay. Yeah, not 14. <laughs> Your mathematics are not very good. <laughs> yeah. All right, good. Now, ask her if she saw all of her brothers and sisters during Christmas. 
Did you see all your brothers and sisters during the Christmas? During Christmas. During Christmas. Yes, I did. All right, good. Ask her if she was happy to see them. Were you happy to see them? Very happy. Ask her if they were happy to see her. Were they happy to see you? I hope so. Ask her if they asked her questions about this television show. <laughs> did they ask you about this te television show? Um, just one question. <laughs> ask her what question they asked her. What question did they ask you? Uh, um, they asked me what, what, which channel or what channel? It what? It, Make what, what channel? Um, they uh, have to... To, um, to find. To find. All right, let me talk to the camera, okay? Mm -hmm. um, ellos querían saber qué canal, a qué canal sintonizar de la televisión. Uh, eh, si, si hubiéramos dicho which, sería entre dos. El canal 7 o el canal 11. Which? Which canal, which canal, digo yo, which channel is, do I need to tune into? Which? Channel 7 or channel 11? Pero hay muchos canales posibles. Entonces, cuando no hemos delimitado la lección a dos o máximo tres, decimos what. Okay, so they asked you what channel? Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> uh, probably, unless they have imagenio, they can't get it. All right. Uh, ask her for brothers and sisters speak English. Do your brothers and mm -hmm. sisters speak English? Uh, the little one. A little. The little one? Yes. Okay, the one who works for the other. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Now, ask her where she stayed when she was in Asturias. Where did you stay when you were in Asturias? I stayed in my mother's house. In my key? My, my mother's house. Good. Mm -hmm. Ask her how many bedrooms there are in the house. How many bedrooms are there in the house? Uh, there are five bedrooms. Five bedrooms? Bedrooms. Bedroom. Bedrooms. Bedrooms. Ask her how many bedrooms are usually occupied. How many uh, bedrooms are usually occupied? Uh, two bedrooms. Two bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Ask her what uh, her mother does with the other three bedrooms. What does your mother do with other with the other with the other bedrooms? Yeah. Clean them. She cleans them. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, and ask her if she remembers when that house was full. Do you remember when that house was full? Of course I do. Of course. Of course I do. Okay, good. Ask her how old she was when she left Asturias. How old were you when you left Asturias? I was 17. Okay, good. Ask her if all of her brothers and sisters were living in that house when she was 17. Were all your brothers and sisters living in that house while you were when you, when? When you were 17? Mm, no. They, uh, they they don't they didn't were all your brothers and sisters living there when they you were weren't sick? good uh, ask her how old the house is how old is that house i don't know maybe mm, maybe 100 years old ask her if it has a good heating system does it have a good heat his system heating. Heat. heating system not very good not very good ask no. her if she always feels cold when she <laughs> goes there do you always feel cold when you go there? No, never. Never? No. You're a hard Asturiana. Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ask her if she ate fabada during her <laughs> trip to Asturias. Did you eat fabada during your trip to Asturias? No, this time. Not this time. No. Ask her if she ate arroz con leche. <laughs> Did you eat arroz con, re con leche? Yes. Okay. She always. Ask her if her mother is a good cook. Is your mother a good cook? Very good. good. Repeat. Is your mother a good cook? Okay. Very good. Ask her if she can cook as well as her mother. Can you cook as well as your mother? No, I can't. Okay, ask her if she's a good cook. It, are you a good cook? No, bad. Ask her if her children like her cooking. Do your children <laughs> like your cooking? Yes, they do. All right. Ask her if she would like to rest for a few minutes. <laughs> would you like to rest for a few minutes? Sure. But her job is tougher than yours. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll be back in about five minutes, so uh, you can rest for a few minutes, too, and we'll come back, okay? Don't go away. The Born Challenge. Which one is correct? You know the right answer? You're running out of time! The correct answer is... C. The dog is in front of the chair. Pronunciation. Mustn't have. Mustn't have. 
He mustn't have had any luck. He mustn't have had any luck. She mustn't have any sweets. She mustn't have any sweets. I mustn't have any more. I mustn't have any more. Mustn't have. Mustn't have. Pronunciation. The Thorn Challenge. Which one is correct? You don't know, do you? <laughs> Come on! The correct answer is... A. I've known them for ten years. The Born Challenge! What's the missing word? You haven't got all day. Come on, come on. The correct answer is... A. Do you make an effort? The Born Challenge. Which one is correct? You know the right answer. Chop chop. The correct answer is B. How long have you been here? The Born Challenge. What's the missing word? You haven't got all day. You're running out of time. The correct answer is... B. There isn't any sugar. The Born Challenge. Which one is correct? Come on, come on, hurry up! Quickly! The correct answer is... B. Peter filled up his glass with milk. Today, say and tell the difference. I need 10 minutes for this, but I will try to encapsulate it in one. To say no lleva complemento indirecto. No se dice say you, say me, say him, say her, say them. Never. Tell him, tell her, tell me, tell you, tell them. Say, admite un complemento directo. Say your name. Pero nunca say me your name. Tell me your name. Say why. Tell her why. Say hello. Tell me hello. Eso suena raro. Entonces, say hello. Cuando es emitir sonidos inteligibles, decimos say. Di algo. Say something. Anything. Say something. Ahora, to tell suele ser transmisión de información relevante. Dime el motivo. Tell me why. Tell me the reason. Tell me your secret. Say something. Say anything. Come on. Say you enjoy this one-minute English class. Say something, please. The Born Challenge. Choose the right question. He's from Toledo, Ohio. Not long to go. Quickly, quickly! The correct answer is... A. Where is he from? The Born Challenge!
which one is correct? You haven't got all day. Come on, come on. The correct answer is... B. We always had dinner at 9pm. La sabana es un terreno inhóspito. La familia espera tranquila la comida que traen los padres después de un largo día de caza. Stapla. Oh, veamos. Creo que les hemos cogido en un momento muy especial. The main advantage is that it's a free, free holiday. I mean, I, I'm not wealthy and I, you know, I'm always looking for any opportunity to have an inexpensive adventure. Being able to sleep in a, in a 10th century monastery um, is a fantastic experience. People from such disparate backgrounds in, in such an intense way for, for a, a one week period where you basically are living with 40 strangers and it works, you know, is just incredible to me and um, and because of that I would I'll just keep coming back as as long as I'm able to the born challenge which one is correct quickly Hurry up! The correct answer is... B. He doesn't have anyone to call. It's been great. It's been like having friends that can't get away from you, you know? And you have plenty of those. Um, and you get to talk as much as you like. And you can walk and talk too. We go into the village and we talk about the chapels and the churches and they teach me a bit about their culture, explaining to me what everything is. And the location is great because um, Australia is such a new country. We, we lack history, well, significant history. Um, here you have things that are hundreds and thousands of years old and a monastery, to be sort of living in a monastery for a week, how great is that? I mean, you have your very own cloisters you can wander around wherever you want to, little chapels everywhere, little nooks and crannies all over the place. It's a great location. En un mundo cada día más global, las personas han dejado de tener fronteras y el inglés se ha convertido en una herramienta de necesidad indiscutible para los empleados de todos los niveles. Acompáñanos dos minutos y te contaremos cómo desde Vaughan Systems te podemos ayudar a enfrentarte a esta necesidad. Estamos preparados. Porque tenemos casi 40 años de experiencia docente. Porque contamos con más de 400 empleados en nuestras distintas delegaciones de toda España. Y porque nuestra pasión por enseñar inglés ya la han comprobado los más de 7 millones de personas que en todo este tiempo han aprendido inglés gracias a nosotros. Estamos capacitados, porque somos líderes, no solo en número de alumnos y volumen de negocio, sino también en capacidad de innovación y, sobre todo, en pasión y energía por enseñarte inglés. Somos la única empresa del sector que cuenta con un departamento de I+.D. formado por lingüistas, pedagogos y filólogos que se dedican a crear e investigar nuevas formas de enseñanza para que tú puedas solucionar definitivamente tus problemas con el inglés. Somos diferentes. Porque contamos con un método novedoso y completamente distinto, el método Vaughan, un método eminentemente oral, dinámico y exigente que saca al alumno de su zona de confort para alcanzar sus objetivos. Y porque anualmente seleccionamos entre miles de candidatos a nuestros mejores profesores que son nuestro recurso más valioso. Menos de un 5% de los candidatos que se presentan son finalmente escogidos. Estamos motivados. Porque tenemos la oferta más completa. 
cursos de formación presencial que atienden a más de 7.000 alumnos cada año. Programas residenciales, Baugan Town, programas de estudios superiores, máster en inglés profesional, cursos digitales y semipresenciales, una editorial, aplicaciones digitales I have difficulty. y las únicas emisoras de radio y televisión en Europa dedicadas a la enseñanza del inglés las 24 horas al día. Hello and welcome to the Sound of English with me. Somos flexibles porque analizamos las necesidades de nuestros alumnos y creamos programas de formación integral ajustados a ellos. Porque no importa el nivel, la edad o la necesidad, tenemos una solución para cada uno. Y sobre todo, estamos encantados. Porque disfrutamos lo que hacemos y porque nuestros alumnos lo confirman. Las clases de inglés con el método Baugan son amenas, dinámicas y muy eficaces. Le llaman desde Baugan Systems. La satisfacción de nuestros alumnos es lo que nos ha hecho sentir más orgullosos a lo largo de estos 38 años. La satisfacción de más de 7 millones de personas que comparten con nosotros sus éxitos gracias, en parte, al aprendizaje del inglés. You can do it. Hola, como habrás podido comprobar, tenemos muchas opciones para ti, pero sobre todo tenemos la solución para tu inglés. Visítenos para conocerla. Which one is correct? You haven't got all day. Come on, come on. The correct answer is... A. He doesn't have enough time. Pronunciation. Sorta. Sorta. He's sorta difficult to describe. He's sorta difficult to describe. He thinks she's sorta cute. He thinks she's sorta cute. You're too old for this sort of thing. You're too old for this sort of thing. Sorta. Sorta. Pronunciation.
el cartel y no se habla más. <risa> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was our show for today. Thanks for joining us here on Vaughn Radio. Hi, how's it going? My name is Alberto Alonso, and I'm from New York, and I've been working with the company for about seven years now. What do you do for Vaughn Systems, Alberto? What do I do? Uh, well, uh, aside from creating my own shows uh, and uh, making them work and... Uh, Well, I do with other shows as well, other TV, radio shows, ideas, uh, as well as contents. Uh, so developing audio and video products uh, along with Vaughn TV, Vaughn Radio. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. We get to create and, and uh, make some, you know, find new ways to reach our, our clients through uh, new media, social media, all kinds of cool, interesting stuff like that. Yeah. How did you make the transition from teacher to radio personality? I think it was, I was radio personality before I was teacher. So, yeah, I've always, I studied, uh, um, well, I got a bachelor in fine arts and theater, so I've always been quite a performer, even at like family parties and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I think the teacher came after. It was, you know, the, the, the radio slash entertainer uh, was out way before the teacher. And then I found a way to make my classes entertaining, and I found a way that I could mix what I studied with, with teaching, and that was a, a great match right there. What was your experience like in company classes? Company classes, it was really, really cool because, uh, well, uh, even now I have, I've made a lot of uh, great friends working in companies, and not just great friends, but great contacts, people who have been able to help me with different situations, lawyers, maybe if I had uh, a few doubts about Spanish law. So I really met some interesting people, and it was great to watch these people um, progress, I guess. And it was kind of cool. One of my favorite things was having big executives and you being the boss. You know, they're used to having 500 people under them and you're like, no, 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 in this class, unless you speak English better than I do, well, uh, I'm the boss. But it was fun, it was always a good time and I really enjoyed teaching, yeah. Can you show us the studio? Yeah, you guys should check it out, it's a lot of fun. This is the main studio over here. Uh, so this is where we do all, most of our live shows. Richard does his show, uh, I do mine after. It's the show with no name. Uh, yeah, that's we're pretty creative around here. Um, but uh, yeah, these are the studios. We're going to go over here. This is a smaller studio. As I said, we do contents, materials, um, cuñas, which in Spanish means um, it means like radio adverts. So we do that, jingles, all kinds of stuff uh, for our translation books, uh, pilots for new shows, you name it. This is kind of where the magic happens in here. So that's just one area. Um, in the summer, it gets pretty hot because we can't put the air conditioning on. It gets in the way, you know. Um, all right, well, this is the, the main control booth over here. I'm here with Nacho. What's up, Nacho? Hello. Nacho uh, has been working with us for quite a while, so we love, uh, we have a great time working together. How are you, Nacho? Fine, thanks. We have fun. Lo pasamos bien? We have a lot of fun. I, I paid him 20 euros to say that, but no. Nah. Um, but so, yeah, here we do a lot of playing around um, with the show. And uh, again, our, what we're, our goal here is to teach people English, but if we can do it and make sure they have a good time at the same time, well, we're doing our job. Thanks a lot for your time, Alberto. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah. Ciao. Choose the right question. I'll contact him tomorrow morning. Ooh, you're getting closer. You're doing really well. The correct answer is... C. When will you contact him? Which one is correct? You haven't got all day. Hurry up. The correct answer is... B. She talks well. Hello and welcome back. Welcome back to another half hour segment of Vaughan and Vivo, your English class in your living room or in your bedroom, or maybe you're in the kitchen preparing something and you have a little TV in your kitchen and you're watching English. You're taking English class in your kitchen. 
It's not often that somebody receives English lessons in their kitchen, but I imagine that probably one of you, at least one of all the hundreds and thousands of people watching this program, perhaps somebody's in the kitchen. But in any case, sit down, pay attention, be still, estaros quietos, and pagad atención. Porque en inglés la atención se paga, no se presta. Okay. Prestad atención is pay attention. Prestadme atención. En inglés, pay attention to me. No se dice en inglés, pay me attention. Siempre to me or to him or to them. Después de la palabra attention. So pay attention to me and to my friend, Ruben, my student today, uh, for this segment of Valgo de Vivo, and uh, we will continue working on the fine points and the basic points and the fundamentals of the English language. Okay? Ahora, las vísceras del inglés, lo que es la, los cimientos. Y os voy a dar inyecciones de medro en vuestro inglés día tras día hasta tenerlo consolidado. Y luego ponemos músculo y agilidad y tendones y todo lo demás. Pero primero, un buen esqueleto. Okay? That's in very important because you can have the best muscles and tendons in the world and the most beautiful skin. If you don't have any bones, you're like an amoeba. Un amoeba. You're invertebrate. And if your English is invertebrate, it's useless, inutile, useless. So remember, you need to have vertebrate English and you need to have strong vertebrae. And my job is to inject bone marrow, melosia, constantly in your bones of your English. And if you pay attention and you believe me and you work hard, you will notice the change. Okay, Ruben, how are you? Oh, I feel good. You feel good? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, is South Dakota a state or a country? Um, South, Daco South Dakota is a state. Is it north of South Dakota? Is it north of North Dakota or south of North Dakota? It's south of North Dakota. Okay, now, is North Dakota next to Canada or next to Mexico? It's next to Canada. Okay, now, uh, ask me if South Dakota is a big state. Is South Dakota a big state? Not necessarily. Ask me if it's bigger than Extremadura. Is it, is, is it bigger than Extremadura? Uh, yes, it is. Ask me if it's bigger than Andalusia. Is it bigger than Andalusia? I'm not sure. It's about the same, perhaps, mm -hmm. as Andalusia. Ask me if it's a round state. Is it a round state? No, state. State. No, it's not. Ask me if it's a square state. Is it a square state? No, it's not. Ask me what kind of shape it has. What kind of shape it has? Does it? Ask me what kind of shape it has. Uh, what, Quiero ver auxiliar aquí. Okay. What, what kind, kind of, of state? Shape, shape. Oh, or, 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 or what kind of shape um, does it have? Good. A perfect rectangle, for almost. Mm. It's a rectangular state. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, ask me if it has a lot of big cities. Um, it have. Donde está el auxiliar otra vez? Da, um, does it have a lot of uh, big big cities? No, it doesn't. Ask me if it has, if it has any big cities. Um, does it have any big cities? No, it doesn't. Ask me if it has a capital. Uh, does it have a capital? Yes, it. Yes, it does. Ask me what the capital of South Dakota is. Um, what's the capital of the South Dakota? The capital of South Dakota is Pierre. Pierre. Pedro. Mm. Pierre, in French. Pierre, Pierre, South Dakota. Ask me what the population is of Pierre. And um, what's the population? Popu. The population of oh. Pierre? I really don't know. I think about 50,000 people. Mm. All right. And ask me if there is anything important in South Dakota. <laughs> um, are there... Ask me if there is anything. Ah, si hay algo. Is, ask, is, is there anything importa, important in South Dakota? Of course. Yes. Yeah. There are about uh, 800,000 people. And mm -hmm. each person, I imagine, <laughs> is important. But a ask me what the most important attraction is in South Dakota. What's the most important attraction in South Dakota.
The most important attraction, a tourist attraction in South Dakota is Mount Rushmore. Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen Mount Rushmore? No, I've never been there. Uh, have you ever seen a picture of Mount Rushmore? Yes, I've been. I've been or I've seen? I've seen a lot of times um, a picture of, of this um, important monument. Monu. Monument. And what, what, can you explain the monument to me? Yes, it's like um, a mountain. Mount. A mountain where you can find the faces of four important presidents okay. of the United States. And do you remember the names of the four important presidents? No, I don't know, but I think uh, Lincoln is one of them. Lincoln. 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 Mira, la L al final es muda. Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. No. Lincoln. 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 Okay. Lincoln, can, 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 Lincoln. Can. ¿Cómo se dice el, el sol? En el sol. Yeah. Sun. Sun. Cambia la S a una C. Lincoln. Can. Mm, Lincoln. Yeah, Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Y la, la capital de Nebraska es Lincoln. Lincoln. Mm, Lincoln. 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 No, Lincoln. Okay. Lincoln. Lincoln. So one, one face is Abraham Lincoln, and, and the other three? I, I don't know, but I can imagine the other one. Jefferson? Jefferson is another. Washington? Washington. And the other one, possible? Maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe? Maybe. Um, the story is... Oof. You don't know. No, Ask don't me know. who the other person is. Uh, who is the other person? Uh, his name is Theodore Roosevelt. Ah, Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Ask me when Washington became president. Uh, when... Did? When was... Ask me when George Washington became. Ah. When um, did George Washington beca become president? Good, George. George. Good. He became president in 1787. All right. <coughs> Two years before the French Revolution. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the French Revolution took place during the first presidency. Mm -hmm. Ask me when Tom and Jeff Thomas Jefferson became president. Um, and <coughs> when did uh, Thomas Jefferson Tom, Thomas Thomas Jefferson become president? He became president in 1801. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ask me if Washington was alive when Jefferson became president. Uh, was uh, George Washington alive when um, Jefferson Jefferson be became Hmm? President? Pasado, pasado. Became president? Was George Washington alive when Thomas Jefferson became president? president? No, he wasn't. Mm. He had died one year before. Mm. Okay, or a year and a half before. Ask me if Jefferson was the second president of the United States. Uh, was Jefferson the second president of the United States? Second. Second. Yeah, Lincoln. Lincoln. S second. Second. Okay, no he wasn't. Ask me who the second president was. Who was the second the second president? Uh, John Adams. John Adams. Was the second president. Mm -hmm. Okay, and ask me when Abraham Lincoln became president. Uh, when was? No, it's still seven November the Ask me when oh. Abraham Lincoln became ah, yes. president. Uh, when um, did Lincoln bec become president? He became president in 1861. Okay. Ask me if he was elected in 1861. Um, was he elected? Elected. Elected in 1861. 1860, like he's Six, like you 61. No, he wasn't. Ask me when he was elected. Who? Wh when? Ah, wh when um, was he elected? Punto. All right. When was he elected? Repeat. Um, w <laughs> <laughs> uh, when uh, when uh, was he elected? He was elected in 1860. Mm. Okay. Ask me what month he was elected in. Uh, what month um, was he elected in? He was elected in November. Ask me when. Ask me what month he became president. Uh, what month was he? Did he? Did he become president? Uh, president? Okay. He became president formally in uh, April uh, 19, 1861. 
Now it's different. Now the president becomes officially president on January the 20th of the following year. Mm. Okay. Uh, so uh, he became president in 1861. Ask me when he was assassinated. Ask me when mm -hmm. he was assassinated. When? When. Uh, when. Tienes la manía de decir when, cuando quiero when. Yes, when. When. Yes, when. Okay. Uh, uh, when um, uh, was he assassinated? Assassinated. Good. He was assassinated in 1865. All right. Uh, ask me if he was re-elected in 1865. And... Um, was he? Uh, uh, was he re-elected in 1865? Si Five? Five. No, he wasn't. Ask me when he was re-elected. Who? When? Ah, uh, when uh, was he re-elected? Re-elected. Re-elected. Re okay. Uh, <laughs> he, tenemos mucho trabajo, eh, yeah. Ruben? <laughs> he was re-elected in November uh, 1864. Okay, uh, a short time before he died. And uh, ask me when Theodore Roosevelt became president. Um, when, um, Roosevelt, when was Roosevelt? El verbo to be no lo dicho. Ask me, escucha. Oh. Ask me when Theodore Roosevelt became, became yes. president. Okay, uh, when uh, did uh, Roosevelt... Ro. Rose, Roosevelt. 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 Con uve. In medio. Roosevelt. Good. Become president. Okay. Tenemos trabajo gramatical de, de soltura y de oído y de fonética. Y de todo. <laughs> Ay, de mí. Oh, my God. So much work. Uh, when did Roosevelt become president? Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Repeat. And when did? When did Roosevelt become President? Uh, he became president in 1900, which is not normal. He, because Mr. McKinley was assassinated. Mr. Roosevelt was the vice president. Okay. And uh, ask me if my father was alive when Roosevelt became president. And uh, was your father alive when uh, Roosevelt, Roosevelt uh, was became, became president? Uh, no, he wasn't. Theodore Roosevelt, no. Franklin Roosevelt, yes. Ask me when Franklin Roosevelt became president. And when uh, was Franklin Ask Roosevelt... Ask me when... Uh, oh, wow. Por favor, ¿qué tengo que hacer? Please. Es que lo traduzco. Please. When... Uh, Pero porque traduces con was. Cuando fue. Cuando, cuando se hizo. Ah, sí, claro. Sí, se claro. llegó a ser. Llegó a ser. Okay, ask me when. Ser. Ahí la tengo. Okay. okay, ask me when, when Franklin okay. Roosevelt became became, Pre became president. president. Um, when uh, did uh, Franklin Roosevelt Ro Roosevelt. Ro Roosevelt become become be become president? He became president in 1933. Okay, ask me if he was Theodore's son. Um, was he? Was he Theor Theodore? Son? Theodore's. Theodore's son? No, he wasn't. Okay. Ask me what the relationship was between the two. Um, what was the relation between them? Está bien relation. También relationship. Los dos valen. Son intercambiables. Uh, Franklin was his nephew. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ask me how old my father was when Franklin became president. How old was your father when uh, Franklin... Franklin Roosevelt. Franklin Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Roosevelt became president? Uh, my father was uh, nine years old mm. when Franklin became president. Ask me where my father was living at that time. And where, where? where, where was living your father at no, that time? El sujeto va antes. Where, where, where were your father living? Where was? Where was your father living at that time? Uh, my father was living in a very small town in Texas called Bertram, okay? Mm -hmm. And ask me where my mother was living at that time. Uh, where was your mother, where was your mother living at that time? Uh, in 1933, 
when Franklin Roosevelt became president. <laughs> uh, she was living in San Antonio, Texas. Mm -hmm. Okay. And asked me if they knew each other, my father and my mother, and at that time. And I, I, I asked me if my parents knew each other at that time. Knew each other? I know you. Yes. You know me. Ah, okay. We know each other. I knew, last week I knew you. Ya te conocí la semana yes. pasada. And you knew me. So last week, seven mm -hmm. days ago, we knew each other. Yeah. Ya nos conocíamos hace una semana. De hecho, mm -hmm. hace un año nos conocíamos. <coughs> Now, did, did they uh, knew? No. Did they know? Did they know each other? At that time. At that time. En aquel entonces. Mm -hmm. En ese momento. No, they didn't. Mm -hmm. All right. Ask me where they met. Okay, uh, where, where did they met? They meet. Meet, oh, yes. Uh, where were they meet? Where did they meet? Where did they meet? Uh, they meet, they met in Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. Ask me how far it is from San Antonio to Austin. How, how far is this? Is it? Is it from San Antonio to Austin? It's about 70 miles from San Antonio to Texas. Ask me how far that is in kilometers. How, how far is it? Is in, that? How I far, can say that. Yes. How far is that in kilometers? In kilometers, it's about um, 125 kilometers, 130. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, ask me what my parents were doing in Austin when they met. Uh, what was your father doing? No, estoy hablando de los dos ahora. Mm -hmm. Ask me what my parent parents were. Do you understand? Yeah. Ask me what my parents were doing in Austin when they met. Uh, what what were they doing in Austin when they met? Entiendes this Austin. Yes, Austin. Okay, good. Uh, they were studying at the university. Mm. Ask me what university they were attending. Uh, what university? Uh, were they studying? Were they attending? Mejor. Oh, were they attending? They were attending the University of Texas. Ask me what my father was studying. Uh, what was your father studying? He was studying medicine. Ask me what my mother was studying. Uh, what was your mother studying? Studying. Studying. Uh, she was studying mathematics. Ask me if my father became a doctor later. Uh, Ask me if my father later became a doctor. Oh, okay. He was studying medicine. Ask me if he became a doctor. Yeah. And did your, did your father uh, became a doctor? Repeat, please. Did your father became a doctor? Repeat, please. <laughs> did your? Uh, did your, your father become a doctor? Good. Uno es más. Sin favor, y cuaje. Did? <laughs> did your father become oh, become become a doctor? Uh, no, he didn't. He was studying medicine when he met my mother, but he didn't become a doctor. Mm -hmm. Ask me why. Um, why didn't your father became hmm? be became become become a doctor? Did you have a del pasado? Uh, why didn't your father become a doctor? Mm -hmm. uh, because he didn't continue medicine. Ask me why. Um, why didn't uh, your father continue, Ca continue. continue medicine? Uh, because the uh, Second World War started and he joined the Air Force. Okay. Mm -hmm. He joined the Air Force. Ask me how many years he spent in the military. How many years uh, did he spend in the army? In, in the Air Force. In the Air Force. In your military, but in the Air Force. He spent three years in the Air Force. Ask me if he went to the Pacific. Uh, did he go to the Pacific? No, he didn't. Ask me where he spent the military service. Where? Ask me where he, ask me where he served. Uh, uh, where? Wh where? Did he serve? He served in uh, Europe, mm. in the European War. All right. Ask me what he did during the war. And um, uh, what um, did, did he do? He was a pilot. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, asked me if he was a bomber pilot. And was he a bomber? Bomber, bombardero. Oh, bom bomber. Bomber pilot? No, he wasn't. Asked me if he was a fighter pilot. Kafa. Oh. Asked me. And, and, and was he a fighter caza? Pilot. Pilot? Fighter pilot. Ah, fighter pilot. No, he wasn't. Asked me what kind of pilot he was. And what kind of pilot? Pilot. A pilot. Uh, 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 was he? Good. Repeat. <laughs> uh, what kind of pilot was he? Uh, he was a photo reconnaissance pilot taking photographs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ask me how many missions he flew. How many mis missions uh, did he flow? Fly. Fly. Ah, fly. Fly, fly. Fly. Okay, fly. Fly me to the moon. Okay. Uh, how many missions did he fly? Repeat, please. How many missions did he fly? Missions. How many missions did he fly? I think I remember he flew 38 missions. Ask me if they were dangerous. Mm -hmm. Ask me if they were ah. <laughs> dangerous. Uh, were they dangerous? Yes, they were very dangerous. Ask me why. Why were they dangerous? Uh, because he flew alone. Okay. Ask me where he took photographs. And um, where did, did he take photographs? And photographs over Hamburg, Munich, Wiesbaden, Cologne, uh, Hanover, mm -hmm. all of the places, okay? And um, ask me if he was wounded during the war. Wounded? Yes. Three things can happen in battle. Mm -hmm. You can you can stay alive with no problem, mm -hmm. you can be killed, or mm -hmm. you can be wounded. If you're wounded, you mm -hmm. need medical attention. Yeah. All right? Wounded. Wounded. And you're sometimes the wound can be very serious. Sometimes it's not an important wound. wound. A wound. Okay, and so people you said when you talk about casualties, que bajas in una batalla mm -hmm. o una guerra, there are two types deaths and wounded. The wounded. dead and wounded. 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 Good. To wound is herir. Mm. Pero her herida de guerra. No, perdona. Miento. Herida de arma. Porque injured is herido de lesión. En un accidente de tráfico hubo un muerto y dos heridos. Mm. Pues esos heridos se dice injured. Injured. Or hurt. Not wounded. Wounded is con arma blanca o arma de fuego. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, siempre hay, there's always violence between humans. Mm -hmm. A car accident is violence with, okay, <laughs> but not 